protesters confront police in the Georgian capital, Tbilisi. The violence broke out after a political gesture that was heavy with political meaning. A Russian MP chaired a session of parliament with legislators from Orthodox Christian countries. It's a big shame and a big insult for Georgian society that the Georgian government has made it possible to see Russian occupant, uh, enemy of this country, uh, in the chair of the chairman of the parliament. This is not acceptable for Georgian public. Russian influence in Georgia is a touchy subject. The two countries haven't had diplomatic relations since 2008. That's when they went to war over Georgia's breakaway region of South Ossetia. I'm here because I've been alive for 25 years and I haven't lived in a fully independent country yet. And that's all I really want. The Kremlin has condemned the violence, calling it a dangerous anti-Russian provocation. Everything that's happening in Georgia, it is nothing but a Russophobic provocation. The fact that there were aggressive manifestations against Russian citizens brings us serious concern. Protesters pushed against lines of right police and tried to enter the parliament building. But police pushed back using tear gas, rubber bullets and water cannon. They sent people fleeing to nearby streets, only to return to face off with security forces again. This back and forth went on for hours. Of the dozens injured, two people lost eyes because of rubber bullets. George's prime minister has blamed the opposition for stoking the unrest. The vengeful opposition organized the violence. They stormed the parliament, and society can see, live on air, how they oppressed police officers. As a result, we have dealt with the situation which went beyond the justified reaction for the events earlier on Thursday. We have dealt with the violence organized by the destructive political leaders thirsty for revenge. Officials have appealed for calm. The Russian lawmaker at the center of the controversy is reported to have left Georgia, but his departure has failed to put an end to the anger. Protesters say their rallies have only just begun. Regan Devine, TRT World.